I'm going to take my original display and I'm just going to get a little bit of flux here. And literally, it's just a droplet, just enough to coat this. All right. Then I'm going to take my soldering iron. Make sure it's nice and warm. I'm going to come through here and because uh, the upper end of the sleep wake sensor has got a little bit of adhesive, so I want to make sure to break that adhesive bond. There we go. And then I'm going to come through and grab it. Now when you solder this, you're not really soldering it, you're not desoldering it. All you're doing is getting it hot enough for the solder to turn liquid and then pull this off. So it's literally just a couple of seconds. Now, sometimes you have to add solder to it to get it loosen up. You see I'm just dragging it across. And what you may have to use is the super wick to absorb any solder that may be stuck. You see, and it just slid right off. Now there's enough solder left in here that I should not have to add any new solder to the new display assembly. Now if you look on the sleep wake sensor, there's two holes that are in there. And then on the ends of the solder joints are two squares, which you really can't see on that, uh, shaped like an L. So when you align this up, your two holes will align with each other. And then if you look at the little dots, your, your L and on here, over the little square there should make one larger square about the same size as your solder joint. That's how you know when you're in the correct location. Now the first thing I'm going to do is once again is take a very little bit of flux, rub it over the joints that I need to do here. And I'm going to take this and get it lined up. Now this is going to take some good eye and practice. And it's not something I can really show you in a simple video um, because it's very difficult to see. But once it's in place, I'm going to take yet another piece of Kapton tape. And I'm going to tape it down so that I can tack it. Tacking it means by just giving it enough solder so that it stays in place. Okay, so now that I've got the circles aligned and the two squares aligned, I put a piece of Kapton tape over there to hold it in place. And then I take my soldering iron and I just tap each one, hold it for a second, and that's all it takes. It's just enough to solder it down. Now if any excess squeezes out, you just take the solder wick, just give it a little clean, a little sweep, just like that. Don't forget to shut off your soldering iron once you're done. Now I can go and peel this tape off. And peel the Kapton for out from underneath.
Okay, then I'm gonna take a little cloth with some alcohol and wipe off all the excess flux. And then I'm gonna take the tape that was there and put it back. All this tape is, is kept on tape that's been colored black. So once that's there, covering up my solder joint, and all the exposed.